pick on a mind How could you be so very unkind I never knew when did it find Yet it's something I did so wrong You remind me of the slumming days When we used to have a meeting inside of mine Rubbing your fingers in my ear Saying things in my ears that I want to hear Only the yeah, baby And I belong in you I've loved you Cherished you Giving you all These love that I could provide Baby No way the chance I could feel Living my life without you Provide me with this energy Singing a melody You are my life Now it's no lie Give my little simple singing One more time Got me you are my life Happy hour My past, my today and tomorrow Baby let me take you home And like your bones There's a few keeping going Me and my love You are my happy hour
Yes, I'm for the news at 12 in Atop Stories. The National Environment Agency and Banjul City Council enter into a pact seeking to fight the plastic waste conundrum in, around, in and around the capital city. U.S. drone strikes intensify in Yemen, killing 13 people as the State Department continues its evac evacuation of diplomats in its embassies across the Middle East and Africa. And two men in Canada stand trial for child pornography and rape charges following the death of a 17-year-old girl allegedly gang-raped and believed by the accused. These and other stories coming ahead this half hour. I am Dick Mademba. We thank you for joining us. His Excellency, the President of the Republic of the Gambia, Sir Professor Haji Dr. Yaya A.J.J. Jami, acting under the powers conferred on him by Section 82, Subsection 1A of the Constitution of the Republic of the Gambia, has decided to exercise his prerogative of mercy on the occasion of the Holy Feast of Eid al-Fitr. In this vein, His Excellency the President has decided to pardon the following persons to be released from custodial sentence. Yaya Drame, Mam Kante, Lamin Jaite, Katim Yai, Keba Baro, al Haji Boy, Abdullahi Kuyate, Usainu Kamara, Njagafal, Mam Yusuf Jalo, Alaji Yunusa, Bari Senegalese Nationals, Ibrahim Venkuli, Siddat Jaju, and Babakar Dukure. Abdul Karim Lee, Amadou Tijan Jalo, and Delphine Koba, all from Guinea Conakry, as well as Omar ba Egis Bissau Guinean and Liberian Darlene Woma. Festivities like Korite afford people an opportunity to visit their families and loved ones. But for children, it, is, it also means going out of their homes to seek for what is locally called salibu. Our farmer of Ovana spoke to Dr. Omar Jarginia on the significance of the Korite itself and how it can promote socialization. I think it is known in world of as Korite uh, as an adjective to Kor, but in Arabic it's known as Idul Fitri. The breaking fast festival and it's one of the islamic festivals and there are many but then it is to also be grateful to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the sense of expressing happiness in terms of socialization in terms of um, making sure that the family is happy and also to thank allah for the end of ramadan um, the way that it was done by the Sunnah is to pray to Raka, uh, after which you have a sermon in which uh, the Imam will remind the audience about their obligations during the day, most of which are to socialize, as to express mercy, especially with the orphans. When you have an orphan, at least, and also to share with the poor and the needy during the day and also to forgive because the problem that we have in the Muslim world is uh, hearts that are not pure. It is the day that we use to cleanse our hearts, to purify, to socialize, to cleanse grudge and hatred and envy from our lives and also to visit each other because we are so trapped in the material world so much so that we lack that touch, that social touch. So today is a day of visiting one another, allowing children, of course, to visit families, but not to overdo it, as I sometimes see nowadays. Yesterday when I was passing at Kairaba Avenue, I could see the teenagers, youngsters, who are supposed to be at home at that particular moment in time. I think it is important that we do it, but we do it the way that the Prophet used to do it, but we don't overdo it by being attracted through the material life so much so that we lose children that day. So it is very, very important. Um, <coughs> Dr. Jarginia there on Korite. It is a day that bodies well for the spirit of caring and sharing, especially with the less privileged. But how is it like spending Korite on a hospital bed? Our uh, Abdullahi Baje finds out in this report that also looked at the contrasting fortunes of van and taxi drivers during feasts like Korite. The Muslim feast of Eid al-Fitr, locally called Korite, is a period when family members, friends and well-wishers come together, rejoice and enjoy 